What is that? I gotta know. Is that a shotgun? Double barrel phantom. Oh man. Feel free to hold I'm so it. So happy. Wait. Take this. Keep it. <laughs> oh my god. What's up, everyone? So I attended a 24-hour scenario paintball event held in Old River Paintball in Oklahoma, Florida for a fantastic weekend of paintball. If you're ever in the area, I highly recommend checking out this field for both rec ball and scenario games. Straight in front of me in the woods onto the left-hand side of the trail! Left-hand side of that trail! Ah, shit. Going into my first engagement cold resulted in me missing what I would consider a very easy shot. I was hoping to avoid a gun battle with this guy, but I was lucky enough to have some backup to help draw some of this attention to the side. Notice that one of my shots hit the jeep and the other flew true and tagged the other player. One of the nice things about running a double barrel setup is that it gives one a second chance to tag your target. Friendly, thank you! At this point, it seemed like we had cleared the trail enough to start pushing up, but I still had some reservations that I didn't know what was ahead of me. This being my first time to this field, my inexperience added some hesitation as I wasn't sure what to expect. They're on the right hand side of the trail is all I can see. I'm trying to spot out any on the left. I'm getting nothing. After deciding not to walk up the trail, I decided to go through the small opening that I had spied when moving up to this position. I had no idea what would be on the other side, but I hoped it would be a safer path. When I had finally crawled out of the brush, I found myself in a small clearing in the scrub. But before I could debate where I wanted to try and move up to, I spot a little surprise heading my way. Tank inbound! Tank inbound! For those of you who have never run across a paintball tank before, the usual response is to run away if you don't have any anti-armor. Since I had crawled all the way up to this point, I had no intention of doubling back. So I hunkered down and decided to hide it out. Now, as I'm rolling around in the dead leaves, I couldn't shake the thought of ticks. Ticks all over the ground, around me. Gross. Then I thought, do you know who would love these ticks? Possums. They can eat about 400 ticks in a week. Thought you ought to know. Now that I'm clear of the tank, I try and resettle myself. Me. In doing so, I snag my feet on a branch and pull it completely off. Normally, this wouldn't happen, but 
but I had set my rings loose around the barrel so I can unscrew them quickly in the event of a barrel break. Thankfully, I have two rounds in the chamber, so if I need to engage, I won't be completely stuck. The entire time I'm reassembling, I'm trying to make sure no one is sneaking up on me. Usually after a tank rolls by, players start rolling through. Finally, after I got everything together and reloaded, I hear a player moving up and he doesn't know that I'm there. I don't think I hit him, but he calls himself out anyways. Thank you, player. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to get a heads up when more videos are posted. Thank you for watching.